there's an overwhelming signal of glacier retreat and thinning. So glaciers are losing mass. Uh, they're basically on a starvation diet. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Cargill. I'm a researcher at the University of Arizona, Department of Hydrology and Water Resources. I am a planetary scientist by background and a geologist, and for the last 15 years or more, I've been uh, working primarily as a glaciologist and satellite remote sensing scientist, doing research on glaciers and glacier lakes uh, all over the world, but uh, particularly in the Himalaya. Uh, the Khumbu Glacier is a, is a fairly typical glacier, maybe a, a bit bigger than average in the Himalaya. It's famous because of its location near Mount Everest and leading, leading right up to Mount Everest. Uh, in the Himalaya proper, it is uh, mainly a, a warming signal that is being recorded by the glaciers. They're thinning largely. They're uh, the rate of ice flow is, um, is generally reducing, they're stagnating, and uh, lakes are forming as a consequence of these processes. From the satellite perspective, the Kumbu region is fairly typical of most of the Himalaya uh, in that the glaciers are retreating and thinning at a at a rate that is also fairly average by world standards, very rapid by uh, the long view of uh, glaciological deep time. In the Kumbu region, one of the most striking behaviors is the growth of large moraine dammed lakes. And the, as, these, as these lakes grow, the glaciers that empty into them have been retreating. So basically the glaciers have been liquefying in place in, in certain places, such as the Imja Glacier. They are very likely to undergo outburst behavior and uh, consequently a big flood downstream. And there's a lot of infrastructure or habitation downstream that is vulnerable. I would say that Imja Glacier and the history of the growth of Imja Lake since the 1960s when it was just little ponds on the surface of the glacier is a, is a good model for how Kumbu Glacier itself is likely to evolve. We, we don't know this, but all the dynamics of Kumbu Glacier seem to be oriented towards production of a large glacier lake on the surface of the glacier at some point. That is, the, the flow of ice seems to be stagnating, the glacier is thinning and the profile is starting to flatten out, meaning that water can accumulate on the glacier surface. You'll see that the surface is just dotted with small ponds. Now, these ponds in themselves in themselves don't really pose a glacier lake outburst flood hazard. They will undergo glacier lake outbursts, but they'll be small, inconsequential. The problem would be if these ponds start to coalesce and then grow, they likely would then reach a runaway point where the amount of incoming sunlight heating the lake water so overwhelms the glacier and melts more ice that there's no stopping it. it. It doesn't happen overnight, it doesn't happen in one year or three years, but in the 10 to 20 to 30 year time frame, this process of lake growth is apt to take place at Kumbu Glacier. 